Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to a live episode here tonight of Juicy Loops Gaming. We're going to be on the Elite Blue Line Brotherhood server here on 5M, um, which is our main roleplay server. We are going to be having the round two of the fight night event tonight, um, the second round of the qualifiers, and uh, let's see, we're going to start it off here. Here we go. Oh, a, oh, a double punch goes in for the punch. And he swings back for the... Oh, and he knocks him oh, down straight three punches right out. in a row. Wow. What do you think about that one, Mark? Oh, my that, God. Uh, that guy is definitely trained. You can definitely tell he is not from here. I mean, he's definitely got the muscle tone, and he's definitely uh, he's definitely well well put together. Amateur round On the one card winner. here, it says he's from uh, Palestine. You call him the Palestinian assassin. assassin. Oh, okay. no. Go crazy. All right, man. How about and you he ran that. He uh, over by the judges, okay? he won that round and uh, scorecards 2-0. Hey man, we're sorry. Go ahead and step in the loser bracket over here in this seat over here. Oh, that's not oh. cool. Oh, then the ref gets him back now. Oh, now he's hitting EMS. Oh, security, security, security. Take him out. Wrong guy, wrong guy, wrong guy. Yo. Yo. Just the guy in the construction suit. You're good, you're good. Just stay outside, stay outside the kid, man. That is crazy. Wow. He was He's he a sore loser. It. Yep. Not great sportsmanship. This is not what we represent here at P PFC. Definitely not. Nope, not at all. Very disappointed. Questions. Camera pointed to here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, t tell, me, tell us a little bit about your training. How, how, how did you uh, train for this fight? I mean, I don't stop punching until he's on the ground. That's bottom line. You know what I'm saying? A lot of fools come here. They think they're the shit, but you know, at the end of the day, the man that stands up the last is the, you know, is yeah. the. Is the winner. Is the winner. You know. So, Palestinian That's assassin, what you're saying is you are the shit. No, 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 no. I am the shit. Okay. Oh, well, thank you for clarifying with, that. That is great. With the capital T H E. Thank you. And, and all these motherfuckers right here, dog. Oh, he's, all he's these making a call out. He's making a call out, guys. All these Cameron, motherfuckers Cameron, right Cameron, here, bro. Oh, all these, all these bitches you. down there, especially that little cocksucker, Vin Diesel. He getting it. Hey, back up, back up. Well, that is crazy. All right, we appreciate the time, the Palestinian assassin. We can't wait to see you next time. Fuck Go enjoy your You're next too, Judge. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. You're cool, man. You're cool. <laughs> Go sit on the VIP <laughs> table, man. Have a couple of drinks. That is one crazy fight. Let's see what's going on here. Vin Diesel versus Voodoo the Fighter. Make your run. Oh, Vin Diesel versus Voodoo. Let's see what's going on here. Do you think he's going to do some Voodoo on him? <laughs> I think so. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, Voodoo there, he's definitely got some skill. Um, I watched him last week in the fight rounds, and he's definitely, uh, you know, he definitely knows what he's doing. Um, I think, you know, with... Uh, uh, I can't remember the other guy's name because he's an amateur. I mean, I don't even know his name. Nobody knows Vin his Diesel. name. Oh, Vin Diesel. Okay, yeah, but yeah. uh, but Vin Diesel's not much of a you know PFC fighter. We've never seen him here on the court before, but uh, definitely excited to see what he brings tonight. And good luck to both of them, of course. Yep. Radio it check. seems like these uh, amateur fighters are okay. stepping up. Like we just got the Palestinian assist, and he won all three rounds. That's oh crazy. wow! He didn't even go through the door. He just jumped right over the top. Wow! That's some great acrobatic skills right there. What athleticism! He's getting it next, too. Let me get it in his eyes first. Oh, Voodoo's playing sleep. Look at him. Oh, that's his signature entrance, it seems like. Listen up. Come here. Come here. Come close. Come close. 
How are they going to show good sportsmanship and touch gloves? Let's find out. Make it last, smart punches, smart blocks. Run around, make it last, make it exciting. Sure thing, that ref really does a great job here, man. Yep, he does. Do we understand? Touch gloves if you want. Oh. oh, oh, okay. He brings it in the last minute, but at first he said, no, I'm not going to touch gloves. But he did give him that respect there at the end. Yeah, but... And don't fight. Do not fight before I don't yell fight. Is right. is real. And, uh... Here it is, guys. Voodoo versus Vin Diesel. And Vin Diesel takes the first punch. He, ooh, and oh, dodge voodoo. from Voodoo with the double combo. That is crazy. And Vin oh. Diesel with the kick right to the leg. Goes in for the punch. Voodoo dodges it. Comes back with the two-hit combo. Goes in for a third hit. Ooh, uh, Vin Diesel misses. And a back elbow misses. A third punch. Right, fourth oh. punch right in a row. And another Vin combo from Voodoo. Right and there. straight oh. to the t nose. Vin Diesel is Vin down for the count is. for the first round. I think Vin Diesel uh, should have saved a couple of those punches there. He was running out of energy real fast. Yeah, I mean, he just kind of came in there strong and just really pushed himself in there too fast. He really needs to kind of take a step back and make sure that, uh, you know, everything is going well. Really save that momentum, save that energy for the whole fight. That's all it is about the fight, you know. It's really about um, making sure that, uh, you know, you got the technique down and saving that momentum and energy. Oh, it seems like Voodoo's getting a warning for uh, getting an extra punch in after the round. Yeah, luckily it's just a warning. They're not taking any points off because if the points were being taken off, he'd have to basically redo that round over again. Oh, yep. We've seen that a couple times last week here. Yeah, it was uh, pretty intense and definitely frustrating, especially when they put all that work into one round and then they just lose that point. Yep. Some of them actually lost the whole thing due to that. Step back to your right. Step back here. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. Oh. All right, looks like they're getting set up here for round two for this fight. Uh, let's see what's what's going on. Hey boys, touch hands if you want. Let's just have some fun, you know. Yeah, you better believe this. Let's let's give these guys a show to watch. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Do me a favor, guys. We're on here on TV. Don't don't get in front of us, please. Thank you. If we get security, uh, get these fighters away from the judges' table, please. Oh, straight in for the punch from Vin Diesel. Pushes him back. Oh, goes back in for the punch. Voodoo with the combo. He really likes those combo moves, man. Oh, and v I think Vin's up on the punches right now. He gets one more, two Vin or three. Vin is going crazy. One more in. Oh, wow. Voodoo wow. is down. Just like that. That was like five or six punches right in a row. Voodoo didn't even get a chance to respond. Wow. Stay right there. Voodoo looks injured. Punches. Is he okay? All right. Go in. Go in. I just want to uh, take a chance here to give a big shout out to EMS Mrs. Cash here. She is doing a great job today. Yeah, Mrs. Cash definitely knows what she's doing. She's experienced in the EMS field. She was here last week, and, and she's been with us for a long time here now. Um, she's definitely a veteran in, in the medical field, so we definitely do appreciate her, and, and all yep. love goes to her. Big shout out to her. Is the hammer here tonight? The hammer is here. He's actually up there in the stands. Or, oh, we're going yeah, to we're gonna have to get an interview with him here in a few minutes. Yep, after this, uh, after this fight, we can have a little break. All right, boys, touch hands if you want. The hammer's in my face, All right. Judge. Oh, good. Good sport. Hey, can you go over there? Go back to your corner. Who, oh, me? Yeah, you. Go over there. Why? I'm in the winner's circle. Is that where the winner's circle is? I thought so. Yeah, he's fine there. Just, just sir, t do tone it down, please, since we are on TV. Oh, Vin Diesel goes in straight for the kick. Voodoo tries wow, to go in for the punch. Ooh, and oh. he goes for a jump. Vin Diesel's really up on these punches. Man, straight wow. right to the end. Voodoo is out there for down go. for the count. And that is, the win. that is the win for that round. Shout out to Vin Diesel. He's oh, jumping over Vin the Diesel. cage, <laughs> showing his air about it. I think he just broke his leg. 
No, what is he doing? Oh, he's fine. Okay. He looked like he almost he sprained like, his ankle. He's. I think they should check. Oh my God, he's going crazy. He's like Monkey Man. He's not even gonna get his uh, winning token here if you don't don't uh, get there in the middle with the ref. That is some crazy stuff. I'm gonna go get the hammer real quick during this intermission. See if we could talk to him about uh, how he feels tonight and how he's yep. how he's been training this last week. Amateur round two winner, Ben Bissell. Hey, hey, hammer, you got a second? Let's go. Hey, what's going on, dude? Yeah, just want to talk to you here for a minute. Yeah. Go. Hey, cameraman, can you come back here behind the cage here? All right, Hammer, uh, you know, obviously you are the winner from last week, so how are you feeling tonight, and, um, you know, how are you, are you feeling rested up from training this week? I am, I'm feeling real rested right now. I'm actually excited to see how this goes, how this turns out. Hope all goes well. Sure thing. What are your, what are your uh, plans for today, like, what are your strategies? Uh, strategies today is just kind of, uh, you get yeah, let's let's have a bit of respect, sir. We don't want to have to disqualify yeah. you. Get over there, come on. Yeah, um, so strategy today is kind of just uh, watch to see how they uh, watch their footwork. I'm, I'm going to be quick on my toes tonight. Sure thing, nice, sure nice. thing. Is there anybody in particular you've seen so far that might take the cake at the end? Uh, No, Nate. Okay. Well, we appreciate yep. your time, Hammer. We're going to get on this next round, and we'll see you soon. Good luck to you, man. Can't wait All to right. see a fight. Thank have you, guys. Have a good one. We gotta get an interview with uh, Vin Diesel after this one. He oh, was the yep, winner of the yep. last fight. We'll get him here in just a second. Yo, that cross you're wearing is mine now, punk. After this, I'm gonna take that off of your neck. Back cross. Reach for your soul. Take your soul home with you. Oh, straight in for the punch from top hat there. Wow. Oh, seems like a little four bit punches about. right in a row. Didn't even get a. Ch yeah. Oh my! Nope. And he's down already with the one. kick with that one. What just happened there? Can we get that guy checked out here? He's How is that guy so tall? Hey, Django, step right, step over here into the corner from me, real quick. He's wearing high heels. Yeah, that is okay. crazy. Django and... Who, Django here, who's the other guy? Oh, that is uh, Junior. Junior, okay, Junior and uh, Django. And uh, yeah, Junior really took it out on that one. He didn't even really get a punch in. It seemed like there was something fishy going on there for sure. Does he have oh, yeah, something sure. in his hands or... Something's wrong with that. Can you continue to fight, sir? The, rough, the ref is uh, checking out Junior now. Is he going to be able to get back in there? Okay. Well, I mean, he's good to go, so. Outside of the cage? Uh, right, what do we call that guy over and you want to do your interview? Yo, I see him. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in a second here. How do I, uh, how do I, like, um, skip. we just got to see this fight right here. Huh? All right, here we go for the next round, and um, let's see. Hello, Miss Cash, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, great work Good. tonight. We really appreciate you. Yep, we're giving you multiple appreciate shots. Here. Yep, yep. Oh, four. This what? Is, Thirty punches right in a row. Two? Andy pushes him. There is something up with this guy. Oh, now Junior comes back in for two kicks. He's returned and oh. a kick to the leg. He almost. He almost kicked his leg back hey, into place. Back back what is going on? What is going right, on? For an interview, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, go down, go down there, little bitch. Hey, wake Vin up. Diesel, where are you? 
Can we get Vin Diesel down here? Baldy, go. Come on down here, Vin Diesel. So, uh, hey, how you guys doing, man? Yeah, hey, good. Thanks for asking. Right in the middle. Stand right here for us. Yeah, make sure the camera sees your good side there. Hey, um, how you doing tonight? How how do you think the fight went? The fight went very good. You know, I've trained. For it. Sure, sure. I used to train with bears and you know camels, all that good stuff. Yeah, you seem very wow. flexible and very uh, um, uh, you know, gym. Acrobatic, yeah, right? acrobatic. There, you got some gymnastic yeah. skills. Where'd you learn that from? Uh, from the streets. Sir, the can streets, we uh, you know? stop getting you to do that? From the streets, you said, huh? Uh, from the street. That's how I used to make my money. Uh, street fighting. Okay. Wow, nice, nice. So we've got a pure street fighter here, pure breed street fighter. That's 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 a new style we haven't seen here tonight. Yeah, I mean, I've watched all your movies, Vin Diesel. I just never knew you were a fighter. Oh yeah, we train, you know. We just don't do movies, you know. Sure, yeah. sure. So gotcha, I, I, gotcha. how you feeling about, um, you know, your fight next week, and are you going to be prepared? What are what kind of tactics or uh, tips do you have for people back at home for your uh, your training techniques there? I'm going to see how to, I'm going to train how to dodge. You know? Dodge moves and then keep doing the jabs. Nice, Perfect. nice, nice. The jabs going good. Sure thing. Well, we really appreciate your time tonight, Vin Diesel. Good luck to you next week. Hope you get some rest. Uh, take a seat and judge in the uh, VIP table back there. You definitely earned it. Drink some champagne. Thank you so much for having, yep, yep. for having me here. Actually, can you do me a favor, Vin Diesel? We're going to put all the fighters up there on that stage. That way, uh, they don't interfere with the video camera here. Yes, sir. Except all right, appreciate it. Up there, all the fighters, all the winners up there, please. Thank you. Yeah, we just don't want them in the way of the camera here. Seems like everybody wants to uh, have a shot here on live TV. So, what is the ref actually calling here? Is there, is there some kind of, are they doing a refight or, because that was two rounds already, right? Yeah, it seems like uh, he w there was like an illegal move that was trained to him so he had to go grab his trainer and talk to him over there and tell him the illegal move is not not to be used in the ring we're gonna make sure you do one more legal fight see he uh, as you can hear the word legal there this round ultimately comes down to judges we're gonna make it a judge's decision round okay judges do you do you hear me with that yes sir yep loud we're and clear, ready loud and clear. Watch for techniques. This is what they're. This is what you're gonna be judged on. The winner of this advances into the semifinals. Do you understand that? Touch hands if you want. All right. Once I yell fight, we're gonna fight. They're not gonna touch hands, and I mean this round is definitely gonna be important because no matter who wins, oh, yeah. it's gonna be ultimately up to us. So let's see. Uh, let's see what goes it's on here. It's a tough one. It's a tough one here. There they go, straight in for it. Junior is definitely sizing him up. Goes in for the back elbow there. Well, uh, what kind of technique is that? I don't know. I think, I think uh, Django there is just. Oh, and he goes straight oh. in for the punch. Two punches right in a row. What kind of tech? Okay. Yeah, and uh, oh, and Jun now Junior. Junior. And ah, uh, straight oh. to the face. Third punch. Oh, I think Junior's injured. Junior's injured. He's oh, he's okay. Down. Is he okay? Got a little showboat in there in the round, in the, wow, in the ring. Wow, wow, wow. This is something else. This is definitely, uh... <laughs> yeah, give us a minute, ref. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it, and uh, we'll get you an answer, okay? Copy. Good job. Great fight there, Alright, hold on. We'll go over here. So I how you feeling about that one there? I feel I feel pretty um, confused here because you know that with that jungle guy or whatever his name is, he had a couple legal moves that the ref warned him about. I just don't want to see that moving forward here next week's rounds. For sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'd, he definitely takes the cake there, but yeah, he's definitely gonna have to watch his uh, watch his moves there. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I've never seen anybody. Um, quite fight like that one after another but uh you know ultimately at the end of the day it did knock him out so seems like we'll give it to that guy then yep we'll give it to Django and uh see how he does next week yep can you hear me ref
judges to ref. I I think he's coming. I see him. I kind of want to ask uh ask the ref here. Ref, yeah, what what is uh what's going on with that fighter, man? That Django fighter. We just want to know. It seems. Sorry, I was talking to you about. Uh, to me, it seems that there's a little bit of a, uh, a different a different mechanism that most fighters are used to. Yeah, definitely. I'm, uh, my only concern is him moving on towards the next rounds and you know ultimately just winning doing that. It's my only concern. Yeah, we don't want any illegal moves here in the next rounds. So, do you think this this is is going to be a problem with him in the next rounds, or is he good to go? Yeah, I am honestly concerned if we move on to the next round. That's where I'm having trouble because I mean, at the end of the day, he did knock him out, but uh, the techniques and kind of moves he had there were just uh, never never before, before seen here in, at PFC, and you know, just kind of concerned about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, ultimately, I can have him fight against one of our veteran fighters, Jester, seeing how he doesn't have a matchup for right now. That would be an automatic advance to the finals. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, we'll go ahead and, of course, disqualify Junior for the fight for now. Um, and then we'll, we'll pronounce him the winner and then just see how he does up against Jester just to kind of see... Or we can just have him go get up against Jester and make a decision after that, just to kind of see what the if it's the same technique yep. used. Sounds great to me. All right. All right. Excuse me, sir. May I have the fighters return to the ring. The fighters return to the ring. Oh, I gotta sit down, my legs are killing me. I like Stan. Welcome back, boys. Oh, the winner of the amateur fight, round three. I thought there was no We're winner in this fight. Ahead and give it to just Earth. Great jungle to mango. <laughs> yeah, definitely interesting fight there. Um, I'm curious to know not only talk to him, the winner, but I'm curious to talk to Junior and see how he feels yeah. about what what was going on there. I'll go grab him. I'll go grab him. Sorry, uh, if you guys can distinctly hear the Mickey Mouse in the background. Captain Gingerbread Man versus the Hammer. No. Can we hold off on this fight for just one second? We're just going to do a quick interview. So we got Junior over here, guys. Hey, Junior. It's nice to see you. Um, we just had a couple questions for you. How do you feel about um, that fight and what was going on there? I mean, it's definitely not what I'm used to. We, as a professional fighters, we don't fight like this. But it seems that that might that guy might be on some dopamine or something in the system. Sure. Okay. Well, may, yeah. Maybe we'll. Uh, There's nothing I can prove. Just a second. Do anything guys, about uh, that. Talk to but as far as losing, that. I lost. There's not, not much I can do. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, um, so, of course, down. you are gonna have. Uh, you know, you, you have opportunity. You're a great trainer. You're a great fighter. Um, we know about you in the in the PFC. In the PFC arena here, um, you know, and we we we'll have to make sure that all fighters are, are tested and drug tested to make sure that they come back clean. So we appreciate you bringing that point up, and we appreciate you taking the loss on this one. And uh, you know, yeah, it's all right. You lose some, you win some, eh? For sure. For yeah, sure. yeah. You fought great, though. You fought great. We sent some Thanks. good techniques. Yep. Well, good luck to you, Junior. Um, wish you the best of luck here in the future, man. Thank you as well. See you guys next time. See ya. Right, what we'll a great a, fighter. What a great personality. We'll get, we'll get Django Tomato over here. Django Tomato. Mr. Django Tomato. Django Mango. Is it Mango Django or Django Tomato? Oh, Django, what is, oh, going, what is on? going on? Security. Security.
wrong guy. But okay. I'll go grab Django here. Django to Mango. Yes, sir. We need to have a word with you. You can have a quick interview before this fight. Do you have a manager on standby or something? Docker. So we got Django Tomingo and his manager, his uh, trainer here. So first of all, Mr. Django, what is your name? Is Django Tomato or Django? The Great Django Tomango. Tomango, okay. Tomango, okay, makes more great. sense now. So give us a little bit of a, uh, you know, tips or tricks to the viewers back home. Give us uh, oh, a little yeah. bit of ideas, uh, you know, behind your techniques here. Honestly, I have to, I have to owe everything to my trainer Come here, over Tucker. Here, Tucker has taught me everything I know. He's told me to give 120% at all times, and uh, it, uh, it's really paid off. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we wow, appreciate wow, that. Wow. Um, it definitely seems like he knows what he's doing and definitely relaying that information to you. So we heard that there were some kind of legal techniques that you were using. Is this uh, something that you were aware of in the PFC? I, I think my hands were moving a little too fast, and I get that sometimes. It's like magic. Hey, uh... Hmm. Can we uh, not direct those questions directly to him? Uh, I'm the manager. I'll definitely take care of that aspect. Sure. sure. Okay. Yeah, well, sure. 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 Is this something you train your fighters to do? Illegal um, move maneuvers here in the ring. Look, it's uh, it's not so much illegal moves. Uh, we we were unaware of the rules here. Uh, as soon as we talked to the the ref, uh, we we got through and. Obviously, seeing his style change up, that's the reason he won the fight. So, uh, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of gray area when it comes to different fights, but uh, we definitely got it fixed. Nice, nice. Yeah, we definitely see some uh, new techniques there last round. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you guys being here. Definitely get rested up, uh, Mr. Django, and uh, hope you get some rest and, and have some fun tonight, and hopefully see you back next week for the for the next round. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You guys could uh, head up to the VIP booth if you guys feel to. There's champagne up there. VIP. Yeah, yeah. Alright, well, is this the is the hammer? This is the hammer in uh, Captain Gingerbread. This is one of the fights from last week that um, they're going to be one of the main events tonight. Two winners going up against each other. Was it two winners or did Captain Gingerbread lose last week? I can't remember. No, he lost last week. He we did, had, uh, okay. Jester. I don't know if he's here tonight. Yeah, I think I saw him a little bit. Um, but yeah, definitely yeah, Captain. Uh, awesome, guys. I, I mixed up the fight. I'm sorry. Is this a six rounder? The hammer versus Jester. I apologize for that. Yeah, I was kind of curious about that because I just was. I thought uh. I thought Captain Gingerbread had lost um, but I, I don't see Jester. I saw him a little bit, but he may be kind of in and out here tonight. Actually, I don't see a lot of the fighters in here. Where have they all gone? Who knows? Who knows? All right, so the hammer is going to go ahead and go up against uh, Captain Gingerbread here. I know the hammer was with the winner from last week. Definitely one of the crowd favorites. So let's see how he uh, handles here tonight against Captain Gingerbread, and uh, good luck to both of them. We're gonna make let's get this round going. Tonight, boys. Oh, this is going to be the main event here tonight. So. Uh, this guy's not going inside. He's not letting me charge him. We're going to do four rounds, all right, boys? Ultimately, judge's decision. Okay? This fight goes down to the judge's decision, no matter what. Okay. Such hands if you want. Okay. Here we go. This they, fight's going gone. You know the they definitely do have enough respect for each other. Uh, you know, they've been here before, so they know what kind of things to expect and and in the ethical standpoint here. So, for right, sure, we'd love to see. All right, it. ref's getting ready to call it. Oh. Get, ooh, oh. hammer dodges it. Goes in for the two point combo. Goes in for a third punch to the face. Gingerbread comes back. Ooh, Another hammer. missed with a combo from the hammer. The hammer. That's definitely a signature move there. Captain Gingerbread. Two punches in a row. Misses again, and Hammer comes back in for the combo, and, and a final punch right to the face. The Hammer wow. is the winner of that round. See, that's the technique we seen last week, and that's what we're on the rounds last week. And this, he's bringing it in today. He's bringing it for in sure. today. He definitely that's knows how to stuff. how to miss those hits and then come back really strong with two straight punches right after that. So. How we feeling, Gingerbread Man? Can we continue the fight? There's the gingerbread man. He's back up and ready to rumble. It looks like he's doing okay. He's trying to get his, his feet under his belt here. Get some water. For sure, for sure. Oh, 
I'm definitely interested to see. Okay, so the, the bets are down, now coming in for the main event. Um, I know that, uh, like I said, Hammer is a crowd favorite, but, I mean, Gingerbread can definitely definitely pull it off. It's only one round in, so he's got plenty of chances here. Oh, yeah. Uh, boys, touch hands if you want. Let's see what go, goes on here in the second round. They go ahead and touch hands for round two. They have enough respect for each other. Starting back in their own corners here. Wait for the ref to call it. And the round starts. Captain Gingerbread goes in for the move. Goes in for a punch. He misses. Hammer pushes back. Goes in straight for the punch. Lands it. Double punch. Captain Gingerbread punch with the com missing a combo from Hammer there. Hammer's waiting. He waits for those punches and then comes right back for a two hit combo. And that's one of. Oh my oh, gosh. What a knockout. Straight on the side of the head. Knocks him out on the ground. That, I don't know if that's a legal move. Well, let's find out. Wow. No Great chance. Great two punches. Got a question for you, sir. We'll have, we'll have a word with you in a minute after this fight. No problem. Touch my hands. Touch Appreciate my hands. Look me in my eyes. How are we feeling? All right. You continue to fight. Alright, let's get back to your corner. Okay, Gingerbread is definitely a strong person. He's wanting to come back for another round. No, so. no, I did not call you. They're going to start back in their own rounds here. and Let's see how it pulls off. I know Hamber's got his signature combo moves. They're going to touch gloves for round three. It's great to see here at PFC. We love to see it. So, Captain Gingerbread doesn't know how to approach this time. Goes in for the punch. They both punch each other. Goes in for a kick to the groin. Misses. Hammer comes back for the two-hit combo. Third punch right in a row. Captain Gingerbread goes in for the flying punch. Ooh, he's landing three punches right in a row. If he lands a couple more punches, the hammer might be out. Misses. Hammer comes in for the other two-hit combo. Captain Gingerbread goes in for the... Ooh, in the back of the head. Oh, and he knocks him right into the cage. He looks he looks injured. He definitely looks injured. He definitely looks like he's stuck for. Wow. Hammers looks very slippery in that ring. Hammers cut back to your corner. Yeah, that last punch there was a little uh, little questionable. I mean, he definitely hit him in the back of the head, and I don't know if he saw that coming. Uh, and... Hammer! Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here in the final round. Hopefully, Gingerbread can pull some last-minute techniques here. Ultimately, you know, right now the Hammer is in lead, but uh, they both have really good sportsmanship, and they're both great fighters. So. Let's see how they both pull through here at the last round. Oh, wait! They didn't wait for the start. Whoa, 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 whoa! They didn't wait for the start. This is that. That's really terrible. Oh, the ref comes <laughs> the, in. The ref comes in to block it off. That's really bad for Captain Gingerbread because he would have won that one too. Yep. But he didn't wait for that final bell ring. He didn't wait for the ref to tell him to start. To tell him to start. So they're just gonna have to redo that round there. Sorry, I'm <laughs> the ref really gets involved. He's got a lot of passion for these fights. When he sees somebody breaking oh, yeah. a rule, he goes right in there for the punch. Oh, he he's a he's a great host, great ref. He, he knows what he's doing. Touch my hands. Touch my hands. Right. Dana Continue. White doesn't got nothing on him. Oh, he he yeah, is the Dana White. You know, he's the Dana White of PFC. UFC is one thing, but PFC is a whole other thing. All right, it's the next level really of good. fighting. That's one, that's one fight. For sure, for sure. All right. Wait till I say fight. All right. Hopefully they wait for the the bell to ring this time and wait for him to uh, wait for the ref to start. They both have good sportsmanship still. Last round, last round, touching gloves. They're going back to their corners to get started. All right, and here they go. They're going to start in. Double landed punch. Captain Gingerbread lands a second punch. Third punch. Caught Hammer off guard. Hammer lands Ooh, his two hit combo. I love those combos. Captain Gingerbread's trying to recoup a little bit. Ooh, that was a swing back punch. Came pulled really back far. This is really even right now. This comes yep. down to a few punches. 
Hammer back in for the two-hit oh. combo. And Hammer is definitely, definitely, he's moving on to the final, the semifinals here. So, no good doubt. work to him. No doubt. Yeah, it's no, it's no uh, call. Hammer's definitely the winner there. The uh, hammer is. Unanimous decision. You know, I'm kind of curious to know if some of these fighters may be on drugs tonight. They're just, they're running all over the place. They're jumping up and down on the bleachers. I just don't understand. Is there something in the air tonight? I don't know. It seemed like something's... They're very oh, energetic. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew! Oh, what's wrong with this guy? Tomingo Dingo here. Maybe that's what he was using to win the fight. Um, you know, maybe he was spiking his drinks with Mountain Dew, and that's what was ultimately giving him that win there. Seems like it. Well, it's been a great fight tonight. Just waiting for the ref to make his uh, the final decision here, um, announce the final winner, and uh, you know we'll go from there. Securities are uh, Maybach and McLaren still out there. Copy. Thank you. Thank you for keeping an eye on the ones. Yep, we'll be back okay. right we'll be right back after this thirty second commercial break. Alright man, what's your what's your question here? I'm telling you. Man. Stop trying to hit me, punk. Stop, man. Stop. Yo, man. You get security in here. Yeah, yeah, security, yeah. security, 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 get security. him. Security. Not security. He's been... Fight's breaking out in the. Oh, security with tasers, guns, anything. He's my hands on the control. Post interview fight here with the hammer. Where's the hammer? Oh, there he is. I need some more kids. Where is it? Hammer, hammer, come follow us here. We gotta have an interview. We'll have it inside the ring. Was the winner announced? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The hammer right. is the winner. Yep, yep. <laughs> well, definitely great job tonight, the hammer. Um, you know, we talked to you not too long ago here. How are you feeling, man? Oh man, I feel great. Man. I, I I felt like this went the way I, I had planned. It was a good strategy, though. Well. 
Nice. Yeah, yeah. We definitely see some good, great, amazing techniques in there in the ring, and you uh, came out with the win. Yeah, a lot of hard work, man. And, uh, come a long way. I feel accomplished. Just hope I can keep it up in fights. You know, Hammer, you're definitely a crowd favorite and one of the most well-respected uh, fighters. I saw you guys touching gloves even into the fourth round there. What do you do to keep your cool, and, you know, what is it about you, how you were raised, that uh, you just have so much respect for the other fighters? Oh, well, at the end of the day, uh, this, this, is, this is just it's a hobby. I mean, I enjoy doing this. Uh, I just try to just remember that it, it is just a hobby. I try not to keep serious no hard feelings at the end, whether I win or lose. Uh, and hope to, you know, hope for the best for everybody. I think this is why you are the crowd favorite here. You are very respectful to the other fighters in here. You show it. Show it here in the ring. Yeah, I mean, our numbers are going up right now just with us interviewing you. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I was raised well. My parents raised me very well. We can definitely tell that, Hammer, and, uh, you know, we hope that you get another well-rested week. We hope you, uh, you know, take some time and rest up and get trained, get ready for next week. We always enjoy having you. We love to see you, um, you know, and the crowd loves to see you. So we really appreciate your time tonight, and, and great job. I great job, Hammer. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Sure. We're going to have an interview here with the host and slash ref, the man, the myth, the legend that put this all together. Thank you, Hammer. Here right, in a second. Guys. I believe we're going to have two more fights uh, from the amateur fights to see who's going to come into the semifinals. Okay. Oh, there's yeah. two more fights going You're on? going to have two more amateur fights? Cool. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. If they, we uh, just want to ask you a couple questions here. If they don't go out in handcuffs. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yep. All right, guys, here is the man, the myth, the legend here, the host. Um... How how do you feel about putting this all together? Like this is this is some great number. This is some great matchups here. How how do you um, decide what kind of matchups you want to put together? Here? Man, it was honestly this event inspired me. I just love to give back to my community. Um, there's been a lot of word around town about the cat crowd favorites who wants to see who fight, and that was my decision. You know, I just want to give back to the community and let the, give them a show. Wow, so you're saying the fans have influenced some of these uh, matchups here? Definitely, man. That Twitter is a big thing. That yeah. is some good stuff to hear. We really love to hear that. What what brought you to uh, come up with this creative idea of, of having this fight tournament and you know doing it now? What what led you to that decision? Um, man, just just God brought me here. God inspired me to come and do this. You know, he he told me just get something going for the community, make an influence, make an impact, and give back. That's that's my model. Wow. Wow. You guys very heard it here, folks. This is very inspiring, man. All right, we'll let the, these other two fights uh, pan out, and we'll see uh, who the winners are for these amateur fights here. All right. Thanks for having me, boys. Yep. Thank you, sir. We're going to have two more amateur fights going into semifinals. It's going to be the Palestinian assassin first Vin Diesel, get down here, man. You're fighting. Oh my gosh. Vin Diesel's wow. gonna break his leg. He's, He's awesome. a madman. He's crazy. We could, so uh, next... if we got a few seconds, we could probably talk to Mr. Gingerbread Man over there and see how he's doing. See how oh, he's yeah, holding yeah, up yeah. after, uh, you know, after everything happened there with that last fight. Captain Gingerbread, do you just have a few seconds to, to speak with us here? Yeah, absolutely. Follow us back here. Yeah. We don't want all these guys. All right, Captain Gingerbread. Um, you know, it's definitely an upset tonight, but how are you feeling, man, after that yeah. fight? Officer Jeff. Oh, I'm not yeah. discouraged by any means. It was a good fight. I'm going against one of the toughest individuals in this lineup, matchup, you know. Um, my head definitely wasn't in the game tonight, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it looks but, a little rounded. Uh, you know, it's usually a lot more focused. It definitely is. Definitely is rounded today. Um, you know, I thought I could go in and kind of pick back up from the last fight, but he's definitely gotten a lot stronger since last time, so... 
anybody sure. that's gonna go up against him next better be prepared because he's an animal. Sure. Nice, nice. We've seen um, the mutual respect you have in the ring. Is there any um, reason for that? That you just have respect for the hammer? Oh, absolutely. I have a respect for anybody that I fight. Um, I just think it's good sportsmanship, and I think every fighter should have the same level of the sportsmanship, you know? We'd love to hear that. We'd love to hear it. Yep, that's why we do it. Well, we really appreciate your time tonight, Captain uh, Gingerbread there, and, and you did a great job. And unfortunately, it is an upset, but I'm glad you're happy with uh, how you fought, and, um, you know, good luck to you, sir. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Good luck. Thank you. All right, for this next fight, we got the Palestinian assassin against Vin Diesel. So this is going to be the amateur semifinal fight. Yeah, now some of these amateur fighters did fight earlier tonight, but because they did come so late into the tournament, um, they're going to do double fights tonight to decide who's going to go into the semifinal rounds next week. Ben wow. Diesel is straight off the punch. He's very, very acrobatic, very flexible. What is what is what this is technique what is this move? He just went straight. Oh, Whoa. and he went out of the ring onto the automatic. onto the fence there. He just disqualified himself from that round. No automatic disqualification there. Oh, and he punches the ref. Oh, punches the ref. Oh, and a ref what? kicks him in the butt, and he goes in for another kick. The Listen, ref is the not ref having does not that. Play. No, he does not have. Does not play games here. Look, he knocked him down too. He's not getting back up. Wow. Can we get meds in here? Where's the medic? Oh yeah, look at the ref there flexing his muscles right in the ring. I mean, he used to be a fighter too. I mean, you know, we know how much skill and and uh, experience oh, wow. he has. Yep. We used to be in uh, the same division here. We were all hey, tired fighters. Up. I think Med had to do some refills on some of her medications, to, uh, so I'm, I'm sure she'll be back here soon. Hey, Mark, I just want to ask you, um, how did you feel when you were in this position earlier in your career? You started early. Before retirement. Uh, well, um... You know, I used to be a fighter. Uh, you know, back in my twenty, when I when I was about twenty, um, shortly after high school, I had a great fighter, a uh, great trainer. Uh, his name was Muhammad Ali. Uh, I don't know if you know of him, but um, oh yeah, we all know who Muhammad. Yeah, you know, so he he definitely he taught me a lot. Uh, but fortunately, I did I did suffer an ACL injury to the knee. Uh, I was no longer able to fight. So uh, you know, I've been commentating and and judging sports events ever since. I've always had a a passion for sports, and I love to see the sportsmanship and and the and the fighting and the love for the game. You know. Nice to hear that. Nice to hear that, Mark. What about you, Ned? Well, my trainer was uh, Mike Tyson here. Um. I had to call my career off short here after um, taking 12 wins, zero losses. I got um, an eye injury, and I my eyesight wasn't the same. That's why I always wear glasses here. Sure. And, and, you know, that's one thing that these fighters don't understand is it really just takes one small injury to really ruin their career. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It takes a toll on your body, and uh, it's, it's, not, it's just not right. Yeah, I actually didn't know uh, you were trained by Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah, I didn't know you were trained by Muhammad Ali. We learn something new every day, huh? Yeah, yeah. we we definitely don't get enough time to talk to each other, and, uh, you know, maybe we should have a beer after this. Oh, definitely. I got my McLaren parked outside. What do you drive? I got a Maybach. Oh, nice, nice, classy. Yeah, you know, you got to keep it classy. So. Well, it looks like Med got, got here. We'll get back in the game here, guys. Uh, All righty. Looks like Med's, Med's got the Pulsanian uh, assassin up there, so... Vin, Vin here and, and the assassin are going to go in here for round two, of course, by uh, by elimination of the first round. Uh, Palestinian did lose that one, but uh, we still got two more rounds. So, are they going to touch gloves and have that mutual respect? Doesn't look like it. Vin Diesel's nope. reaching out, but the assassin says, "No way, I'm not touching your gloves." Nope. The Palestinian assassin said, "No way, no way." Well, that's the difference between these oh, loved, loved and well-respected fighters and and not so much. 
He goes. To, he, he he's going for that crawl move. I think that he's trying. To, oh, oh no! Vin Diesel disqualified himself. <laughs> oh, they are one and one now. Both on disqualifications, oh. and now they're going for several punches. Stop the fight! Oh, oh. wow! There we go. Security had to be called in. Disqualification here. Disqualification. Potatoes in the rest all you man. Can we just give a brief shout out to our security team out here? They're doing a very great job. They really are. Those tasers are very strong too. They're they're very well on it. As soon as these guys go to jump out of the ring. Can't jump over the ring. Oh yeah. Can't jump over the ring. WWF. Yeah, they need to remember this is this is a this is a fight ring here, and if they leave the ring, they're automatically disqualified. Like the ref said, it's not WWE or WDF, so. Uh, you Sorry, know, not, they they gotta make sure they're the watching the rules here. J the jumping around and crawling around on the ground. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Yeah, this is not this is not no fake acting fight here. This is real deal. And they're not gonna touch hands for hands for the the uh, third round. It is coming up right here. Two punches straight in a row to each other. Assassin gets in the back kick. Ooh, and Vin Diesel's Ooh. got two or three punches in a row. He's what going down for the ground doing? again. Trying to avoid those punches, and he still gets knocked out. Oh, Vin Diesel's going to be the go. winner of round three and the ultimate winner of this fight. It looks like his technique wasn't working there. He's trying to do a little snake move, but, uh, yeah, Vin Diesel's definitely the winner there. Unfortunately, you know, the first two rounds, they didn't really get to judges. fight. One more round up to you guys. Yeah, yeah, we, could yeah, go we can do that for sure. Yeah, so it looks like the refs, uh, we're going to have them go one more round here, and then we'll have to make the final decision here. Hopefully we don't see any jumping around or laying on the ground. just want to see, uh, you know, straight up fighting fist to fist. Hey, I don't want to see any more laying on the ground, brother. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. It's just my muscles keep uh, messing up all the well, that's why you gotta train. This ain't amateur fight. This is for semi-finals, okay? All right. So Seems like the ref giving him a little motivation there. Yeah, give him a little coaching experience. You know, it is it is an amateur fight, but yeah, like he said, this is gonna determine the semifinals. So they gotta make sure they're trained. They know what they're doing, or they'll just get to the end and get disqualified anyway. Back Starting in their corners here. Not gonna touch gloves. Goes in for the jump. Vin Diesel gets the punch in, gets a second punch in. Assassin's coming back with straight two punches in a row. Vin Diesel comes in for another punch. Looks like they're both even on the punches, but, oh, but Vin, Vin Diesel, Diesel knocks him down again, and it looks like Vin Diesel is now, based on that fight, it's going to be the ultimate winner. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going down here in the semifinals next week. Vin Diesel's got a lot of energy, man. Um, yeah, definitely. On you, judges. We uh we we agree. Uh, Vin Diesel. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. I think if the assassin punches Med one more time, he might get put in jail. Oh, it seems like he's already been throwing the chill, been throwing handcuffs. There goes the Palestinian assassin escorted outside the room. Winner, advancing to the semifinals. He got, he's calling on him. Yeah, great work from Vin Diesel. That was a great fight. Let's go talk to him. Hey, Vin Diesel, can we have a word with you here? If we can get him to, to stand in one place for a minute, hopefully we can have an interview with him. Hey, yes, calm yes. down here, Vin Diesel. We just want to talk to you. Yes. Oh, so oh, jumpy, oh, oh. so jumpy. I'll wait for a yeah. cameraman here. All, all hyped up. Yeah. So, so what... what Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Mark. Yeah, 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 no worries. Um, how are you feeling after that fight, Vin? I was, uh, in the beginning, it was a rusty, but, and I got, I yeah. got into it. You know, I had to learn his moves out for, uh, I had to study his moves, so, I sure. got him down. Sure, how did you combat with him laying on the ground? What was, what do you think he was trying to do there, and how did you, how did you know how to react to it? I don't know, I thought he got knocked out, and he got up, and I don't know what he was doing there. Sure, sure. Yeah. God, it was it was just tricky, it was tricky. I don't know. It was. Definitely. Yep. Well, we seen you uh, 
you won this fight, so you're going to be down here next week in the semifinals, which is great news, great news to hear. So, we have any um, techniques or, or abilities you're going to be looking for next week? Yeah, like what I said, I'm going to learn how to dodge punches and uh, do work out and burn. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, man. Yep. Get Thank some you. rest, Thank Ben, you. and, uh, you know, take some well-rested uh, time this week and, and get trained and get ready for next week, and we'll see you there. Thank you. I'll see you guys next week, and thank you for having me. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There he goes, already running. Oh. I'll tell you what, he has got some energy now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've boys. never seen a fighter like Leo's that. We've got two right here. Uh, I'm not worried about anybody. Yeah. So, Looks Where's like he's talking a little smack to the to hammer. Bangle. It seems like he wants a piece of him. Do we got do we got the great jangle to mango? Yeah, he's right over there. Alright, let's get him off that person. What is this All fight? Right, is gonna be Django to Mango versus who? The hammer? I don't oh, know. We're, we're actually done with fights for tonight. Oh, done fights, okay. Sure, we're sure. Done, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, let's let's tell everybody at home. Hey, we appreciate you guys watching tonight. Um, one more person we definitely want to give a huge shout out to here is the cameraman. I mean, his arms must be very tired holding that camera all night. Oh yeah. Um, but we definitely yeah, appreciate yeah, him, you. and uh, yeah, he's definitely a hard worker. So you know, sometimes the people behind the scene don't don't really get to see be seen as much, but we definitely love him, and it, we're glad to see him here tonight. So, all right, well, next week, um, you know, we'll be back again for the semifinals. We're almost at one step closer to the final round and picking a final winner. Um, I know we've got Django Tomato, uh, Mango, Django Tomango. Um, Dango, Dango, Dango. Yeah, Dingo, Dodongo, and, uh, you know, The Hammer, and uh, Vin, and who else we got? Uh, Vin and the, who won that other fight? Yeah, yeah, I know there's somebody else, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll tune in next week. We appreciate you guys for watching, and uh, everybody have a good night, and we're out of here. And See cut. You. Cut, cut, cut. Perfect. Thank you, sir, for your time. Great work, great work, sir. Yeah, you eat, eat a well-deserved sandwich. You worked hard tonight, man. One person I did see tonight was Gesture. Is he going to be able to go into the next round? He will be able to advance to the next round. Okay, so is that who we're looking at? Yeah, we... These three and then Jester? Yes, and plus Bobster and Toothpick. Bobster, yeah, okay. he uh, he got disqualified from the whole arena tonight. Oh, I didn't, that's news to me. Yeah, I think Bobster actually came into the arena with a weapon and uh, shot someone. Oh, so he's, my he's God. actually being Scott charged. Have the weapon on him? Yep, he's actually being charged. I think and taken to prison right now. Hopefully, he's out by next week. All right, we're gonna take that money and go fix your eye. Yeah, you better fucking yeah, save that money because you're gonna need for medical bills, motherfucker. I bet you're across the dresser at night, close eyebrows, and that red-headed hair. All right, sir. Yeah. Without Bobster, we'll still have enough fighters if he does not make it next week. Perfect. Perfect. All right, boys, we need all three of you to return next week, okay? Yeah. See, I'm gonna man you up next. week. Yeah, talk it, Train, talk it, get talk some it. promotion, get your fans out there, bring them in, you know, hi have like the hype. this fight right here. Side bets. Every oh, would you like to see that? I would mark it down, Judge. I got you. <laughs> Don't worry, he's behind me where he belongs. Oh, it'd be nice if, uh, if we get some bets set up for semifinals, too. You know, everybody bet on and who they think's going to win. I'm going to knock yep. those frickles out of your face. Oh. Everybody yeah. will be emailed. Everybody will be emailed to the fight schedule. All right. Perfect. Good Perfect. job, boys. Have a good night. Good job. We'll see you guys. Thank you. Good job. Oh, nice doggy.
Well, the dog's definitely getting confused in here, that's for sure. Yep. Those dogs don't like buildings. Uh, German Shepherds are not well... Not well trained for, uh, for buildings. Oh, what do we have here? This is all kinds of, uh... What do, what do they call this? Fuckery? Fuckery, for sure. I don't even know how to get around this. It's right here. The door's right here, sir. Where? Oh, oh okay. Th this is open right here. Oh, okay. That's perfect. Doors. You gotta go out the doors, bud. Yeah, all that whiskey. Alright, Ned, we going out for drinks? Oh, yeah. Alright. I did not know what is up with this fog tonight. Actually, just lately, I don't know. I think the new game build I put in this fog has just been ridiculous. Oh shit, we went down from 20 to 16. Right. Let me, uh, let me pull over here and make an announcement let everybody know that RP is going back to normal. Well, great event tonight, guys. Um, if you tuned in, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit that follow button. Um, my YouTube link is down below as well. If you can, uh, you can hit the subscribe button and watch me on YouTube. I usually post these videos um, from the live Twitch uh, streams to YouTube on top of other role plays that I do uh, that are that are typically recorded. Um, right now, I'm trying to actually get set up my uh, a different streaming right now I'm just using OBS but I'm trying to set up Streamlabs OBS to where I can actually uh, stream and I'm probably gonna get the the premium plan I think it is where I can stream to YouTube Facebook and Twitter all at the same time just to get more exposure that's one of the main reasons I, I stream is to get more exposure for the server um, and get our name out there a little bit so um, you know like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure if you haven't already, hit that follow button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, you know that's going to get. I may stream something else here tonight, but uh, as as far as the fight night event goes, that's going to be it for the night. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and as always, um, I love you guys very much, and I appreciate all of you. So have a good night, guys. Juicy out.